Welcome back to Sense Investor. Do you know which online brokerage is best for investing in fractional shares? If you're looking to start buying fractional shares but not sure which brokerage to sign up with, keep watching because this video is for you. Hey everyone, it's Brandon. This video reviews the best brokerages that offer fractional shares and why you should use them. Stick around because I'll share which brokerage I recommend for fractional share investing at the end of the video. Also, if you find this information helpful, please like the video and subscribe to this channel for more dividend and personal finance videos. Now let's get started. Let's start with Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab is an online brokerage that allows you to invest in fractional shares. They were founded in 1971, so they're, uh, they've been around for over 50 years. And during that time, they've offered pretty solid customer service and many different products to its customers, including retirement accounts, banking accounts, and obviously investment accounts. Schwab is a great brokerage to start with. Not only can you purchase fractional shares, but they also offer a dividend reinvestment option whenever you purchase your shares. So what this means is that if you were to buy, uh, let's say, a half a share of Apple and then they pay you a dividend, they're going to automatically reinvest that half of a dividend back into the company for you. Um, and it's automatic. You don't have to do anything once you initially set it up. Uh, so it's just to set it and forget it. And it's just an amazing feature to have dividend reinvestment with your brokerage. They also don't offer or require you to spend any money on trading fees. There are no commission or hidden trading fees uh, for fractional shares or regular stock trading, which makes Charles Schwab one of our best options. When purchasing fractional shares, you are required to spend at least $5 per stock. So if you were to spend $50 and you want to buy, let's say, 10 different fractional shares of 10 different stocks, you're going to spend $5 each. You spend a total of $50. You can do that all in one trans all in one transaction, which is really nice. And I believe you can do a total of up to 30 different stocks in one transaction, which is also really nice. There is one disadvantage to using Charles Schwab for fractional shares, and that is that the stocks that they offer are limited to stocks in the S&P 500 index. So if you want to invest in something outside of that, you won't have that option with uh, Charles Schwab. Outside of that limitation, Charles Schwab is a great offering and I highly recommend it. Next up, we have M1 Finance, which is an excellent platform. Uh, they were founded in 2015. So they're a younger company, but they're still on our recommended list. They do offer fractional shares, and that's pretty much how their entire platform actually works. Uh, with M1 Finance, you basically create what they call pies, and inside these pies, you can add as many different stocks or ETFs as you want. I think up to uh, 100 or so total. That may have changed, but um, the last I read, you could do up to 100 at a time. Um, and they call them pies, they call them slices of pie, whatever, but they are exact same, they're the exact same thing as fractional shares. They do offer dividend reinvestment which is nice and they do not require you to pay a commission fee or any hidden trading fees. The one big catch with M1 Finance if you're getting started with them is that you will have to upfront a minimum deposit of $100 before getting started. Outside of that, M1 Finance is a great company with a great product and I highly recommend them. So next up is Fidelity. Fidelity Investments is one of the largest asset managers in the world, and they offer a wide array of financial services. Fidelity was founded in 1946, and they also offer fractional shares, and they offer dividend reinvestment options for when you purchase fractional shares um, or regular stocks. Um, so they don't require a minimum deposit, and there are no commission fees or hidden trading fees. And with Fidelity, you can purchase fractional shares for as little as $1, which is different than Schwab. Schwab, you had to purchase at least $5 worth of stock. With Fidelity, you can purchase as little as $1, which is really nice. 
Uh, the other thing that's nice about uh, fractional shares with Fidelity is that you can purchase either stocks, ETFs, and even mutual funds. And um, they don't charge commission fees for either of those, as I mentioned. One of Fidelity's strengths is that they have a lot of research tools that you can use to determine which stocks are going to be best for you and your, your portfolio. I highly recommend Fidelity. And if you want to know any more about Fidelity, go to their website and check out their stocks by the slice. Next, we have Interactive Brokers. Interactive Brokers was founded in 1978 and is the perfect brokerage if you are an active trader who needs trading tools with advanced charting and technical indicators. They don't require a minimum deposit, which is really, really nice. They also offer fractional shares, of course, but unfortunately, they don't have a dividend reinvestment program for any of the shares or stocks that you purchase. If reinvesting your dividends is important to you, you're probably going to want to skip this brokerage for now. There are no commission fees or hidden trading fees, and I highly recommend this broker brokerage to anyone who is an active trader. Now let's talk about Webull. Webull was founded five years ago in 2017 and is another new contender to the world of investing. There's no minimum deposit. They do offer fractional shares, but unfortunately they don't have a program for reinvesting dividends back into your, your fractional shares. If this is important to you, again, you may want to skip this particular brokerage. Um, but what I do like is that they don't offer commission fees or have any hidden trading fees. And what I really like is what's inside their mobile app. Inside their mobile app, there is a built-in community so you can chat with other investors and share information. There are news feeds for each of the stocks and ETFs that they uh, offer their clients. And not only that, there are a ton of different technical indicators and a lot of data that you can use to research and better make an informed decision on investments before you make them. I highly recommend Webull if you're starting out and want to invest in fractional shares. So that brings us to Robinhood. Robinhood was founded in 2013, so they're still a relatively new uh, company in the world of investing. They are a mobile-friendly and mobile-first brokerage. So if you notice the pictures on the screen, you're going to see pictures of their mobile app, and it pretty much looks just like that. These pictures might be a little old, but for the most part, these are pretty accurate. Um, what I like about Robinhood is that they are very um, intuitive in their interface design for the mobile app. It's very easy to use. It's very easy to get started. So a few features about Robinhood, they do offer fractional shares. There's no minimum deposit to get started. They don't have any commission fees or hidden trading fees. And they do offer a dividend reinvestment program. Now, I've used Robinhood in the past for testing purposes before I moved over to Schwab, Charles Schwab. But what I experienced, I really did like. I really liked what they had to offer. I liked a lot of the interface. Um, and actually a lot of it's changed. They've added things like profiles and they have a, a crypto wallet that you can use now if you're into trading crypto. Um, for the most part, this is a modern brokerage that, that I do recommend. They do a really good job at allowing you to trade fractional shares. And there's really not a whole lot else to say. If you want to trade fractional shares, I do recommend Robinhood. So public.com is another mobile app brokerage that allows you to trade fractional shares. One thing that sets this particular company apart is they are, they are a mobile only brokerage. They do not have a desktop app and they do not have a web client and that allows you to trade fractional shares. They are founded in 2019. They do not require a minimum deposit. Um, they do offer a dividend reinvestment program and they don't charge you to trade stocks uh, via commission fees or hidden trading fees. Um, I recommend public.com, but please be aware that they are a mobile only brokerage. So next on our list is SoFi, which was founded in 2011. 
They offer products such as mortgages, personal loans, credit cards, investment accounts, retirement accounts, and also banking accounts. You can invest using SoFi with their mobile app or their easy to use desktop interface. There is no minimum deposit required before getting started and they do offer fractional shares with a dividend reinvestment option, which I love, that's really nice. There are also no trading fees. If you're interested in starting out with fractional share investing, I definitely recommend SoFi. Now Betterment is a little bit different. Betterment is a company that offers a robo advisor service. And what they do is they ask you a few questions about your investing preferences. So they'll ask you questions like how old you are and when you expect to retire. And they'll also want to know what your risk tolerance is. And based on those questions, they will create a portfolio for you. And when you transfer money into your brokerage account, they will automatically invest the money into this portfolio and it will get diversified evenly and automatically based on your preferences. Now, what's nice about this is that this is a perfect brokerage for the investor who wishes to invest with a hands-off approach because once you set up your portfolio based on those questions and you transfer money in it's set it and forget it from there it's completely automatic that's really nice um, they were founded in 2008 so they're still a relatively new brokerage they do not require a minimum deposit before investing they offer fractional shares obviously because by design money gets diversified and it has to be fractional and they do offer a dividend reinvestment option. There are commission fees at 0.025% annually with digital investing. So they will take money out of your equity based on this percentage every single year. In fact, I think they break it down monthly and then they pull out monthly based on this annual percentage rate. Um, they also offer a account with a higher minimum balance um, it's I guess more an advanced account and the fee for this account is 0.40 percent so if you are interested in investing with Betterment it's definitely worth considering these different um, annual fees that they will charge you if you invest with this service um, aside from that if you are looking for a hands-off approach to investing and you want to invest in fractional shares, I definitely recommend Betterment. And that brings us to Acorns, which is the final brokerage on our list. Acorns was founded in 2012 and works quite a bit different than the other brokerages. The way that Acorns works is that you link your bank account to the Acorns brokerage account and whenever you purchase something, such as let's say a cup of coffee and you buy the coffee for $2.25, um, Acorns will automatically invest the additional 75 cents and round up and then put that rounded up change into a pre-built pre -built diversified portfolio. And of course those are fractional shares because the amount is just pocket change and it has to be fractional shares. So um, Acorns does not require minimum deposit and they do offer dividend reinvestment. The catch here is that they charge $3 per month with a personal plan or $5 a month with a family plan. So what I'm going to suggest is that if you are investing small amounts of money each month, not to use Acorns just because you might end up paying more money in fees than you would in uh, the actual investment cost. Um, $3 a month, that's pretty steep for a fee if you are investing with small amounts of money. However, if you're spending and investing, let's say $500 or $1,000 a month, um, then yeah, this is a great idea because it's another set it and forget it option where um, it makes it really easy to not forget to invest spare change. And it's just a really easy way to um, kind of every little bit counts and then you let that build up over time and it makes it could make a big difference if you're investing a lot of money 
So if you're looking for that set it and forget it approach and you don't mind Acorns automatically pulling money out of your bank account to round up spare change, this is the brokerage for you. Okay guys, so I've reviewed the best brokerages for fractional shares. We've looked at Charles Schwab, M1 Finance, Fidelity Investments, Interactive Brokers, Webull, Robinhood, Public.com, SoFi, Betterment, and Acorns. So out of these 10, which brokerage do you think I'm going to suggest? And which brokerage do I personally use every day for investing? The winner is Charles Schwab. Why did I choose Charles Schwab? Because one, they don't require a minimum deposit to get started. They offer dividend reinvestment options. There are no commission or hidden trading fees. They offer solid customer ser service and have an excellent history. And they have an intuitive interface for buying fractional shares. I've used Charles Schwab for over three years for fractional share investing, for dividend investing, dividend growth investing, and I absolutely love Charles Schwab. Well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.